All right, guys, so we are trying something on the Insta360 Ace Pro today. It's something that could completely change the way a lot of motor vloggers and motorcyclists may actually set up their gear. And I say motor vloggers, but really it could be kind of anybody that uses, let's say, an external mic in their helmets. Maybe, maybe use these on a snowmobile. Maybe use that on ATV. It doesn't matter. A lot of us use stuff like this, right? This right here. This is an intercom, and this one's by Lexan. And a lot of you know that I just received the Insta360 Ace Pro, this, this fine fella here. And uh, I've really not had a lot of time playing with it. But when I started it up, I got a firmware update, which I did. And I believe this firmware came out at the end of last year. And when I was editing that video and I actually got a chance to stop and actually look at what the firmware was providing, it said something about being able to connect to certain brands of intercoms. Senna, Lexan was one of them, uh, I think Cardo. I wanted to try it and I figured I'd try it today. I think this will be a really big thing if it functions properly so that you and I don't necessarily have to have two sets of mics in our helmet or we want to make sure that our audio is getting recorded on two different cameras so maybe i have an insta 360 ace pro on my handlebars facing back and that one is catching audio from my for me lexan and it's recording that audio and maybe i do have another camera it could be an insta 360 x3 or a one rs or something like that and that one is wired in. This way I have kind of a backup, some good audio on this one and some good audio on that one. And I can decide later which one I want to use. I wasn't quite sure how to do that, but these are of course the two units we're going to be using today. Well, this is again the Lexan MTX. And the Lexan MTX is not actually listed as one of the intercoms that they actually say. They say the Lexan Q4 or F4 or something like that. I was like, I don't even know what that is, but we're, we're trying it out. What we need to do, and I'm gonna just show you guys on this camera here. We're gonna turn this on. Now I've already paired this so you guys can see it. Basically what would happen is you would turn your Insta360 Ace Pro on and go into the settings area. And when you scroll over, you see this screen right here. And there is a little screen that looks like it has a set of like Apple AirPods, AirBuds whatever they're called. You know you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, when you tap on that, you'll actually see it says Bluetooth searching. Yes, and I have my Lexan MTX there already because I've already, I've already connected to it, but I haven't tested to see it works. Now on the Lexan, and again, this is something that you'd wanna figure out on yours. What you'd wanna do is hit the power button, keep it held until it starts flashing blue and red. Then it goes into pairing mode. This is searching, I'm gonna actually you guys will see this. I'm gonna turn this on, right? Flashing blue, there it is. And this, oh, oh, connected. Oh yes, these two are now connected. So you know what that means. I am going to actually, what does it say? Something came up on the screen. I'm hoping it's not like your battery is low, which is definitely a possibility. Anyways, I'm gonna put this on the helmet and we are going to, uh, see if it can capture audio. Okay, so before we put this on the helmet, you may have noticed before in some of my videos from last year, I actually ride or were, was riding with the Alexan B4FM. And what I like about the Alexan is that if you upgrade a lot of times, that it's the same shape and size. And on my helmet, I'm using the actual setup that was on this and I'm just installing this same clamp, which is nice. I'm just gonna kind of mount that there. Perfect. Take the helmet that's going where the old one, the old one was and plug in the USB-C in there. Make sure it's in all the way. Again, if I hit record right now, it shows, it shows on the back. You see in the top corner, there's a little, looks like a little headphone jack. I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that is saying that it's recording. I'm just going to put that down there. We're going to put this helmet on. And I actually have, again, all the cabling hooked in so my mic is where it should be. And usually my wife and I have really good calm connections between us. So right now I'm switching to this setup. And of course, all I hear is, I wanna say like, it's like a hiss. 
And my guess is, is because I have the volume turned up pretty high on these right now. Now, I don't have this connected to another mesh setup or anything like that, or any other comms right now. But this is recording, and you guys should hopefully... We're going to take a listen to what this camera is actually recording in regards to audio. So I'll just kind of turn that toward me. We'll see if it's actually picking up. And you will see that I do have a, another wireless mic on here, but I've disabled that. Well, not disabled it. I've switched to this camera's mic just to see what it's doing. Now, the other thing, too, is by default, uh, this has a gain control on it. So, again, if, you, if I turn this off, I'm just going to turn this off here so you guys can see it. It says it's processing video. Uh, and I'm going to come back in here again to that microphone so there it is i believe when you tap on it maybe no that's just allows you to disconnect i do know that you and i can come in here and actually play around with the mic's audio so maybe it's in let's try general yeah so see right there under general it says external mic gain so we can go in there and i'm just going to set that up to like for here to like plus we'll go plus six just to see and I'm going to come back. Now, this is definitely something that I would want to test before I go out on a ride and do some recording. And I'm going to switch to this camera again. Okay, so now we're on this camera. And one of the things that you may want to test before you go out on a ride, and, well, I definitely would, would be actually checking your gain to make sure you have it set where you want. Because you're going to have engine noise and wind noise, and depending on the bike that you're using... Uh, how much protection is this mic inside here getting? Is it positioned in a spot that you need to actually have the gain pushed up? Or do you have to have the gain pulled down because your exhaust is like crazy loud? But anyways, this is this is recording now audio from my Lexan. Is this something that works with all comms? Simple answer is uh, I don't believe so. There were four or five brands on Insta360's website that they said functioned. And then they had a small list of which ones actually worked with the camera. So which of that brand's actually intercoms worked. This one, this one here, the Lexan MTX, which is one of the cheaper mesh network ones that I found. Uh, and again, again, I really like the Lexan gear. Um, it, uh, it seems to work. It came up and uh, seems to be doing everything that it, it should be doing. All right, guys, you've been hearing the audio from my Lexan Com, am I pointing on the right side? Yeah, the <laughs> Lexan Com uh, to the Insta360 Ace Pro. Um, I'm hoping it's working, and uh, we'll do more testing on this in the spring when the bikes actually come out. Because you guys hopefully can see outside there. Maybe you can see just right there. Uh, definitely not riding weather, and uh, we'll we'll check. Because the other thing that I'm hoping we're gonna do a test is if my wife is connected to us via mesh on her helmet, will this record everything that I hear? So will it actually record her conversation into this as well as mine? That would be good. All right, guys. We'll see you next video. Check with your motorcycle comm manufacturer. Uh, I'll put links to... Insta360's website if you're looking at picking up one of the cameras and their website article in regards to this feature that uh, just came out. Very cool. All right, guys. I'm out. Later.